Well, up until 24 hours ago, the biggest snowfall in Minneapolis was just over 3 inches. Now we've got 9.3 inches, I believe, that has fallen in the last 36 hours across the Minneapolis area. So we've increased the snowpack. Unfortunately, we do have milder air lifting north here. So it is going to essentially uh, significantly dent that uh, snowpack as we go through the remainder of this week here. So that system that uh, dropped uh, plenty of heavy snowfall across Minneapolis and across the upper Midwest, that is now pulling away. Plenty of rain up and down the eastern seaboard as you can see here. It may have a few flakes flying on the back side of that system as it exits up into the Canadian Maritimes. But you notice here as we start to push towards uh, late this week, we've got an area of high pressure centred over uh, north central uh, Mississippi and what we're going to see is with low pressure pushing into the Pacific Northwest moisture digging down into northern and central California you've got that orientation of south to southwesterly winds so we're going to pull milder air up into this very region that has seen some significant snowfall so unfortunately I think we are going to lose uh, quite a substantial amount of that snow that has been dropped here you notice here the 540 line all the way up to the Minnesota Manitoba border here, so uh, strong south to southwesterly winds could be talking about temperatures well into the 40s uh, by the time we reach uh, Friday afternoon here. But like I've emphasized in the US uh, outlook for the month of February, we are going to end the month of uh, January on a relatively mild note, but there is going to be some incursions of milder air, uh, or should I say colder air as we go through next week here so this would be end in january beginning in february we've got a cold air mass coming down uh, a nice 10 44 high coming out of canada thickness values down into the uh, the uh, five teens range so uh, you know we're going to see some fairly chilly air coming down no question about that and then uh, once again we'll pull in southwesterly winds once again so unfortunately it is going to be a very back and forth type of setup here as we leave January, begin February. Uh, systems continuing to pile into the Pacific Northwest here as well if you notice here. So that's the general rule of thumb. Trophiness in the West, region in the East. But as we go into uh, the middle and latter half of next week, we'll leave January, begin February. We've got another system riding the northern tier of the country. That is going to open the floodgates of Arctic air, a little bit more potent Arctic air coming down into the equation here we've got a 979 millibar low over quebec we've got a 939 high over central north dakota so therefore we're going to see a bit of a discharge of arctic air into the uh, minnesota wisconsin great lakes region here notice here we've got a 504 height line uh, dropping in the southern parts of uh, minnesota here so we are reintroducing arctic air back into the pattern despite the fact we're going to see uh, kind of uh, surges of milder air trying to lift in. So it's a very up and down kind of pattern as we leave January, begin February. Another system comes down. We've got plenty of cold air here in, in place. System on the southern and southeastern flank of that trough is going to try and bring snow from the uh, southeastern half of the country up through the Appalachians, possibly uh, into the big cities of the northeast. And then... Once our system clears out, we drop the height lines quite low indeed. We've got a 504 height line all the way down to Philadelphia at 498 into the western uh, half of upstate New York. So this is a bona fide Arctic air mass coming down as of uh, next Saturday here. So while we may have a, a, a mild pattern to end January, it doesn't necessarily mean that we can't get cold. And it certainly looks as if the GFS is indicating that. Then another clipper-like system comes through. That system strengthens as it pushes uh, east-southeast and we get more pushes of Arctic air back into the, the eastern half of the country here. And it looks as if we are going to see some very interesting times as we push through the month of February. If you haven't already, do check out the US outlook for February and I'll be back in the next couple of days with more information. Hope you have a great Tuesday. Bye for now.